Hey, how's it going? It's Steven here from understandingaudio.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a beat without drum samples. Now, when I was first starting out, I would get quite envious of my friends who had seemingly endless supplies of drum samples or access to a drum kit or a drummer to create new drum samples all the time. I felt like my progress was slowing because I didn't have this big sample library or I didn't have VSTs like Battery to help me along the way. So yeah, I thought that I wasn't making the same progress as other engineers and producers were with those samples or those VSTs. And the truth is you don't need a single drum sample to make a great beat. You can make a beat with absolutely anything. And the perfect example of that at the moment is in Billie Eilish's Bad Guy. Phineas used a sample of a Sydney traffic light, the noise it makes letting people know it's okay to cross as the hi-hat in the chorus of Bad Guy. So it's okay to mix and match your conventional drum samples with something a bit different to create that desired effect. But today we're going to focus on how to make a beat without any drum samples at all. You're going to make your own. So let's dig in. Now I'm quite lucky to have collected a large sample library over the years and I'm not just talking about drum samples, I'm talking about a library of sound effects because of all of the animation projects and sound design projects I've worked on over the past decade. And in that collection and in the collection that you'll build up or you might already have, you'll find all sorts of interesting effects that can be repurposed and reused to create drum samples. And here's a perfect example. This is what I'm using as the kick drum in this beat that I've made. Okay, sounds like a pretty, pretty good kick. When I extend out the audio, and I'll extend it this way as well, there are four individual hit solid thud sounds. So if you audition those, this third one sounds to me kind of like a kick drum because it's got that subby feel to it as well. Now, if you're already saying you don't have these sound effects in these samples like I do, don't worry about it. You can collect them anywhere online. Just look for free sound effects or connect with other producers or engineers, share the samples that you have, give away the stuff that you have in your library. Maybe they'll share some with you as well. But if not, all you have to do is Google free sound effects and you can start to find these for yourself. You can get them from literally anywhere. But I was looking through my library and my folder of sound effects with an idea that I wanted to find a kick drum. And this is what I found. So the kick drum pattern sounds like this. On its own doesn't sound like much. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna focus on is this snare. So here's my snare sample, isolated out on its own. So that's what I'm using as a kind of a snare or a clap sound. You see already by the name, it's hit bone thud. So the original sound effect was created to mimic the sound of a bone hit or a bone break or, you know, baseball bat hitting bone. So there's quite a few in there. And in this instance, the first one, was most suited as this snare sound, as I've labeled it. So if you've got all this space at the top of your sample, just come in, come into slip mode in tools or whatever DAW you're using and get rid of that, hit A in tools. And now you're ready to go back to grid mode, Alt 4, slap it back on the grid, and then your sample is in time. So the kick and the snare together sound like this. All right, then I've got some claps. So this one I actually recorded myself and edited it down into this one small sample. It sounds like this. So <laughs> if I bring the fader level up, I'll click. That's it. Put it back to where it was. So now the kick, the snare, and the clap together. So the 
clap is just accentuating that snare sound that I've picked. Now I've got a second clap here as well. And this is actually a clap sample that I pulled from my library of a group of people clapping. So you hear that that's pan to the left and I've dropped a fader level down just to suit the mix. So if I delete this, this is the sample that was used. And I ended it quite sharply at the end. You'll hear why when the full beat is in. This is what this sounds like. So that's really the main beat. You'll see this ball kick that I have up here. <laughs> that sounds quite nasty, but uh, this sample, if I take it out again, is it's the sound of somebody kicking a ball. And I took that first one and put it into the beat. just a different type of kick sound, like a second kick. And then there are other small elements. So it starts with this hit metal, this metal thud. If I take that out here, this is the full effect. But I heard this part, like the sound of it, and put that in at the start just faded out the end of it. I could denoise it, but I actually quite liked the noise on it. And I added in another metal thud effect. It's literally right at the start, just to make, make an impact. There's quite a few of these metal thud effects in this sample. So it's three. So you can hear where the other one came from together so they're right at the top uh, with the kick so not quite making total sense just yet so then I brought in this flexitone sample and this is the full thing and I used that in the beat also brought in a triangle and this is the rhythmic pattern that the triangle is playing. Pan that out to the left. In the beat, just the very top of it. Some spoons as well. Some good old spoons in the mix. Pan to the right. All right. So these three tracks are percussion tracks that you could pull down from literally anywhere. You could find a flexitone triangle and spoon sample pretty much anywhere online and, and have them fit the beat. These five tracks are the core tracks. These two are literally just for impact at the very top of the beat. And then these three are just helping to pad it out slightly more. And finally, we're into, we're into effects. This is a, a screechy effect. As I have here, there's two effects actually on this track. The first one is, is this. So it's quite odd in the beat. And I cut it out quite sharply. Here's the second one that gets used. Okay, and in the beat. Let's cut out quite sharply again. And I've also got this power down effect. And that is the whole effect used within the beat. I've also got these tire effects. And 
that's come from this sample. It's of a car going through water. And I just pull those out to create this. Panned out to the right. So the only thing that I've done to improve how these samples sound and, and work within the beat is to put them on the grid in a way that makes sense, chop them up in a way that makes sense, and then put them in the stereo field to make sure they have a fader balance that suits the beat. And this is what it all sounds like together. So if you like that sound, you like that beat, hit the like button down below and let me know. Now, you could literally keep going like this forever. You could build out an entire beat without using a single traditional kick or snare sound, or you could add those in as well. You could layer things up with more traditional kick and snare sounds or drum sounds or claps or drum machine sounds, whatever you like. But I just wanted to show you that it is entirely possible to make a beat without owning or having any drum samples in your possession. You could find a few free sound effects online and make a beat in no time. And if you've already done this, drop a comment down below and let me know. I'd really like to hear what you've done and your experiences of putting together a beat like this. It's a little bit unconventional, but it goes a long way to creating a very unique beat that realistically you won't hear anywhere else because you're not using the same loops and samples as all the other producers out there. And again, you can take this a step further. You can start adding in EQ, compression, distortion, delay, reverb, whatever you want until this beat sounds exactly the way you want it to sound. And, you know, obviously from that point, you can start adding in music. You can start doing whatever you want until it sounds exactly the way you want. All right, well, I hope you got a lot out of this video. And if you did, leave a comment down below and let me know. Now, just because you stayed to the end of this video, I want to give you my free guide to take away and get even more great results. The guide is called the one hack that guarantees a unique pro sounding mix. And a lot of the ideas that I've shown you here today have popped up because I've used the information that I'm going to give you in this guide. And it's all about using reference mixes and reference material to get your mixes and your productions sounding much closer to those that you admire most. Now, I already mentioned earlier about Phineas using that traffic light sample in Bad Guy. But if you're not analyzing great music and if you're not referencing great music and great material and producers, you're not going to be able to replicate that in your own music. The beauty of using references is that it gets you closer to being able to define your own taste. And using that as a focal point and something that you can return to time and time again when you're mixing or producing. I guarantee you that you'll get great results straight away when you start implementing the material in the guide. And all you have to do to download it now is go to getpromixes.com and it's all yours for free today. And once again, that's just as a little thank you from me for staying to the end of this video. Patience really is a virtue. Now take the information in this video away. Have a play around with some beats. Sounds really terrible, doesn't it? Make some new beats and have fun with it. Now do not forget to hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. I will be back with another video very soon. And in the meantime, have fun making great music.